Is there a worse feeling than losing your website with no backup to recover it? I've been there. I had a dedicated server with my web host and the hard drive crashed. I thought I was covered doing nightly backups. Unfortunately, I rarely check them, so the last good copy of my website was over a year old. I risked losing a year's worth of content in an instant. Every hour I was offline risked Google de-indexing my site when its spiders didn't find the pages online. I spent close to $1,000 hiring overseas virtual assistants to recover all the website content from Google's cache. It was a painful process, but I recovered the site. I had one thought that there, there just had to be a better way. And so I built Restore My Website to be that better way. This software recovers your website with a simple press of a button. It can do this based on a catalog of website snapshots at archive.org. If you aren't aware, archive.org is the Internet Archive that captures websites at certain points of time. Ever wonder what Amazon.com looked like in 1999? It looks something like this. So a lot, lot more plain and a lot less going on. But you can see the Matrix was the hit of the day. Titanic was a top seller. And um, if you look up here at the top bar, you can see all the captures. And there are literally thousands upon thousands of captures for Amazon.com. To, to get here, you simply input a web address that you're looking to see. And it returns all the available snapshots. So when we open up the Restore My Website software, uh, our first step is going to be to put in our uh, registration key that you received um, right after your purchase. So we're going to put that in that first field right there. And the next thing is we need to grab the URL of the website that we're looking to restore from archive.org. So for the Browns fans out there, I'm going to restore um, a website, a fan site, called A Factory of Sadness that went offline a few years ago. Uh, there are usually multiple snapshots available, so it's usually going to preview a few of them to see which is going to work best for your needs. I have already taken a look at these, and I have determined that this one on 619 of 2012 is pretty solid. So we're going to use that for our demo. So we're going to put that in the archive.org URL field. So at this point, we could go ahead and run the software and it would start recovering the site. You know, as simple as that. Uh, before we do, let's take a quick look at this advanced tab and see what it has to offer. So these are um, optional features that some people may find beneficial and others may not. Uh, but I just want to make you aware that they're here. So by default, the file location that the website is restored to is uh, under the C drive at the root under a folder called Restore My Website and then the, um, the name of the site itself. So if you want to point this somewhere else, say My Documents, um, downloads, uh, wherever it's uh, easiest for you to find and manage and upload these files to your web host, um, you can alter that file path here. The Levels to Restore defines how deep this uh, restore is going to go. So you can think of it as sort of level one is the home page and all the links it grabs off the home page and stepping down into that first level. So the home page and then all the pages linked to it. Level two would be one step further down. So all the links on those pages and stepping down and looking at the, at the next level of links. So uh, by default, this is set at three. Um, depending on the size of your site, you could set it for, for one or two, it may make more sense. Uh, but regardless, it's always going to uh, step down as many levels as it can. So um, the last four fields are similar to the find and replace feature you would see in Microsoft Word. Say you had a, a misspelled word throughout your document and you wanted to uh, fix it in one fail swoop. 
you could do that here. Uh, instead of doing it in a document, this would be across your entire website. So uh, this would be things like, say you wanna change an image out or text within your copy, or even run a regular expression, if that's something that um, you, you feel comfortable doing. Um, that can all be put in here. So there's basically two sets of find and replaces that you can run. So coming back to our main tab, um, we're ready to go ahead and start the recovery. So to do that, all we have to do is hit this run button right here. And after a brief delay, it will show you that the restore has started and it will start recovering your website by creating the base folders for the project, including images, JavaScript, style sheets, and any page hierarchy. It will show you a green success message, like this one, uh, to show you that um, the action was completed successfully. So in this case, an image was successfully written or a JavaScript file was successfully written. Uh, if it has problems or runs into a, an error, it will kick back and say, uh, a red error message will say that this file wasn't found or um, it ran into some problem. Usually when it does run into errors, it's a file that archive.org does not have in its index for whatever reason. So, um, so let's take a look. There's one right there for an image that failed to find. Let's take a look on our hard drive at that restore my website folder. So we can see that it created in the C drive, restore my website. And within that, there is a, another folder for the site we're restoring. So potentially we could restore several sites if, if we have the need. Um, so within that, we can see that it's created our CSS and image and uh, JavaScript folders. And it's also starting to populate, as you can see this page just popped in, uh, each page as it restores it. So it's going through each one of those levels one by one and, um, and picking up all the elements and uh, restoring them to your folder. That we can then FTP or load up via your cPanel account to your web host to get your site back online. So, um, and depending on how large your site is, this process could take some time. So uh, go get a coffee, go grab some lunch, do whatever needs to be done. Um, and just let this run to completion. And if we come back over here, we can see that, that progress as it, as it goes through. So let's go ahead and press pause here, and we're gonna come back once this is completed and take a look at what our results look like. And we're back. Um, the first thing you'll notice after our restore has completed is these two messages at the bottom, or the three messages at the bottom saying we completed the third level of links, uh, finished processing, the website restore has been completed, and the restore process as a whole has stopped at that point. So that tells us we are done. So if we come back over to our folder that has all of our website files in it, you'll see all the pages that were recovered. Images, style sheets, whatnot. So, I have some a dummy domain that we can take a look at um, that I've restored all the website files to. So if we take a look at the archive.org version, we can see what the site looked like via their capture. And we can take a look at our, our restore and you'll notice that the header element from archive.org is gone. Uh, if you take a look behind the scenes of the HTML, all of that, the references to archive.org have been cleaned up. Uh, basically all the image files are gonna be pointing back there. All those uh, ancillary elements are gonna point back there. Um, we've got those all stored locally now, so there's no reason to um, have those references anymore. Uh, if we go into posts themselves, we'll see that we have that post content. If we go into, let's say this Brandon Whedon post, we'll see it. So everything's there. Everything looks right, uh, styled correctly, and, um, and all of our images are populating. So that's exactly what we want to see. 
this was a a good restore. So it's that simple. I mean, um, there was uh, not a whole lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went behind uh, getting this site uh, restored and then back online. You know, basically all you would do with it at, once you have those files locally is you would take them and you would upload them to your web host via FTP, via your cPanel, via however you um, is easiest for you to manage those files. So um, just a note, if you ever run into any problems with a website restore, simply email us your software serial number as well as the archive.org URL you're trying to recover. Um, we'll work out any kinks on our side and email you a zip file of the restored site. Um, if, if we found a bug in our software, we'll go ahead and patch that and do an, a new release and we'll forward you that release so that um, you could run it yourself in the future. Uh, also, we love feedback. So if there's a feature you'd like to see or something that we can do to improve our software, uh, reach out to us. We want to hear about it and we will try to get that update included in our next software release. Um, so thanks for checking this out.